What's the difference between me, the me of now, 2017, where are we in? May 2017, and the me of May 2016, yeah. The difference is, it's very subtle, but it's made a huge difference, is I'm in, in an, such a place of unconditional love for myself now and others, and I work at that every single day, and I realize the value of that, of loving yourself and loving others unconditionally. Because ultimately you're working through that thing which is called the shadow, and I've mentioned that in previous videos. You're working through your shadow, or my, I'm working through my shadow, which is all those things, those negativities that are held about other people and the world. So what I did with my past, this is what I've done in the last 12 months. Now if I find someone from my past who used to irk me, or you know, I used to think, oh gosh, I didn't like that person. Now I actually spend a few days or even a week or even whatever long it takes sending love to that person I deliberately said love 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 to that person until until I get to a place where I'm at completely at peace with them and if I were to see them I'll go hey how you doing <laughs> you know and it comes from that place of love and and that's been massively healing for me and I you know obviously I work in the healing field so I, I work with you know many wonderful individuals who are working through stuff and really, I've got to lead the way in terms of my own self-healing, so I can help them. If I say, "Hey, you've got to, you know, it's important to forgive," and you know, then I've already done it myself. Now, this is non-religious and non. This is a non-spiritual thing. This is more of a, a choice about my desire to love everyone from my past. So, you know, I might go back to people in school or experiences in school or, you know, whatever. You know, as a young adult, and just going back and just mentally sending love to those experiences to those people that I had problems with. And I tell you what. You can change memories to be positive ones. You can change all those negative memories to be positive ones. It can be those, because when you, because love is such a powerful force. It is such a, it is such a tremendous force. If you look at my video, The Rice Experiment, you would understand the power of love. I've still got that rice in my garage. I couldn't keep it in the house. It's starting to smell. But the hate rice has gone totally, oh. But the love rice is still going well. It's just going awesome, it's, you know. And I'm not even not even going. Oh, I love you, rice. I'm just going love, 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 love to the rice. Hold up and go love, love, love. Put it down, and that's it. Massively healing. That's the power of the word. The words love, the intention, the thoughts, the experiences, the whole understanding of what love is. Yeah, that's how powerful it is. So when you come from that place of love, love, love to all those people that you perceived hurt you or those, you know, or even your most negative experiences in life. I've done this with people in sessions where I get them to picture their, you know, a painful experience in their life and then just to mentally send the word love to it, love, 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 over and over again. And just, and then I get them, tell me what happens. I, I, then I say to them, tell me what happens. And they tell me it shifts, it changes. The, the experience changes. So where it used to be a bad memory, it changes to being a good memory. And that's, and I use love as a pattern interrupt, but the interesting thing about using love as a pattern interrupt is that it's, you know, it's a force more powerful than gravity. It's a force more powerful than, than, than heat or cold or, or anything in the world. It's more powerful than nuclear weapons is love. It's so, it's such a powerful force. And you can use that in yourself here today. It's actually available for you today. So that's what I want to talk about is uh, the power of love and being able to, that's the difference between me and the me of 12 months ago is I'm infinitely more loving. I mean, I had it together. I thought I was pretty, had it pretty too much together 12 months ago, but I, you know, I had experiences which kind of told me, hey, maybe Roger, you haven't got it all together yet. You need to work on yourself. And hey, and that's what I'm doing now is, is but the beauty is the more I work on myself, the more I'm able to pass that healing onto other people. And that's why I'm in this field of where anyone can come to me, where it doesn't matter what you've been through. It doesn't matter what crap you've grown up with or what horrible things happen to you or how dysfunctional you may perceive you are. You can come, you can chat to me and I'll be like, hey, cool, I totally get you, I understand you, and there's zero judgment because, hey, I've been there, been there myself, and you can come, and I help them restore them and get them to that place of unconditionally loving themselves, unconditionally loving others, working through their trauma, dropping their mask of self-righteousness and self-hatred, and come in that place of pure unconditional love, and that's where they heal. This is Roger from the Healing Warrior Program. Thanks for watching. You can hear your life now. Have an awesome day.